What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. And today we're actually gonna be swapping out the taillights on my 2008 Audi S5. Um, so the 2008s come with a factory halogen taillight. Um, so I'm gonna be upgrading to an LED. Um, this one comes off of the 2009, 2010 models. Um, so in my opinion, I think they look a lot better. Um, so before we get started with the video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and smash that notification bell, and uh, we'll get right into it. All right guys, so before we get to the taillights, a couple videos ago, um, I actually told you guys that um, I ended up ordering um, some exhaust mods for the car so um, they actually arrived so i'm gonna go ahead and show you what that is um, these are the jhm or jh motorsports um, race pipes or test pipes whatever you want to call it um, so this should get rid of those cats that come right out of the header and um, make it a little bit louder right now it sounds kind of muffled it does have the awe touring exhaust on it um, not the track so the track doesn't have mufflers um, and the turning does have mufflers so um, this should open her up a little bit and make it sound a little bit better so uh, with that being said, I'll go ahead and get this opened up and show you what we're looking at. All right, so here's what the box is looking like. Just a regular old box. We'll go ahead and open her up. All right, so here's what we're looking at. So these should come right out of the... Uh, they'll connect right up to the header, like I said. Um, and they delete those cats that come right out of there, which are pretty big. And um, they've got some dimples in them and everything, which... Um, quieter down quite a bit so there's both sides super nice got the um got the jhm logo on there um, everything looks good from what i've seen and watched a couple of videos and um it makes it sound quite a bit better it really opens it up so i'm super excited to get these installed so um be on the lookout for the next couple of videos and we'll get these bad boys thrown on there and uh, show you what that sounded like can't wait to get those installed uh, maybe making another trip back up to uh, to team one um, or I might just try to do it myself. We'll see how it goes um, But with that being said uh, go ahead and show you the tail lights So these are not brand new of course because they are from a 2010 but uh, looks like this is the Driver's side um, outer tail light they look pretty good some slight wear you know from daily use, but um, I think it looks awesome the the pattern when the LED light bulbs are all lit up looks super cool. Uh, so I tried to order an adapter for these because um, it is going from halogen to LED. So I'm sure there's going to be like some kind of light or something or um, maybe some kind of issue with wiring. Who knows? I'll figure it out, though. But um, I ordered the harness and it never ended up coming. So uh, I guess either it either got lost or I don't know what happened, but they refunded me. Uh, so we're just going to try to see if we can get this rigged up to uh, to work like it's supposed to. So and I may buff these out a little bit. I'm gonna try to get them looking a little bit better, get some of those um, scratches out of there. And then here's the passenger side inner tail light, which goes on the trunk, so. Got the driver's side inner tail light. All right guys, so these are the 2009, 2010 LED tail lights. Um, this is kind of what they look like together. As you can see, it's got the, uh, the normal little rectangle shape there and then the reverse lights now down here. Um, whereas on the 2008, the reverse lights up top and then it still has the same shape and everything, but it's all just halogen. So um, these look a lot better in my opinion, especially when they light up. So I don't have a harness for them, but I'm pretty sure the outer ones just uh, plug up. So that should be plug and play. But the inner trunk tail lights, um, we'll have to figure out how to uh, wire that up. Maybe have to solder some stuff, but um, it came with the clip from the car that it came off of. So we'll try to use these wires instead of messing with the stuff down here on the actual car. That way, if I want to go back to halogen or anything, um, I still have that option. So we don't want to tamper with anything or um, mess anything up. So, all right. So looking at the dates and stuff on here, it says 21 12 right there, um, which would be the 20th of January, 2012. So I think these are actually off of a 2012 car. Um, so they may have ran these from 09 all the way up through 2012 before they came out with the, um, the 8.5s. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get these uh, cleaned up. You can see there's some dirt and stuff just from everyday use um, dirt on there as well. All right, guys, and before we get started with the taillights, um, we're actually gonna run a Best Buy real quick because we have this little um, little cannon. I forgot the model of it, but um, we've had it for a while and um, just haven't been able to use it because I think I accidentally threw away the charger for it, which I don't know how, to, how I did that, but um, I believe I did. So I'm gonna run the Best Buy, try to um, get a charger for this um, and then maybe upgrade the video quality a little bit. So I'll take you guys along for the journey. Um, and then we'll run the Best Buy, maybe get some coffee or something like that, maybe a bite to eat. Um, and then we'll come back and charge this bad boy up and uh, try to get those taillights thrown on there. So 
Be sure to stay tuned. Does it come with any simple syrup in it? Yes. How many pumps? Six. Okay, can I just do two pumps of the simple syrup, four pumps of vanilla, and then three pumps of the cinnamon dolce? Boy, she was over here speaking rocket science to these people. Don't let him fool you. He knows how to order my drinks just like I do. And he be customizing his too, so. I got me a grande caramel ribbon crunch. Don't Let's even Let's not talk cap. about your, your venti vanilla sweet cream cold brew with three pumps of white chocolate mocha sauce and some cinnamon on the top. Don't even put cinnamon. Don't be trying to add extra. <laughs> well, where'd I get that from? All right, guys. So Starbucks secured. Got me a little, uh, what is this called? Caramel Ribbon Crunch Frappuccino. She got some kind of concoction, couldn't tell you, but. Right. Venti shaken espresso with vanilla and Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounded a lot more difficult when she was ordering it. <laughs> but, um, so right now we're gonna go ahead and head over to Best Buy and see if we can get this uh, charger for the um, for the camera battery. And uh, we'll see you when we get there. All right, guys, so pulling up to Best Buy. Dude's walking across the street, but. Hopefully we can find the uh, charger here. Probably should have looked it up before it came, but. Oh, we need to get an extra battery. Yeah, so we got. <laughs> so we'll try to find the charger and um, see if we can get an extra battery as well. Um, and then if we can, then you guys should see some better quality here soon. So um, we'll go ahead and head inside here and uh, see if we can find what we're looking for. All right, so this is actually, I think this is the exact uh, tripod we have for the camera, but come on here trying to find the battery section we found found the camera so that's a good start all right so quick update and um, we ran inside best buy and they didn't have the um they didn't have a battery or um the charger for it so um apparently the other location here in town may have uh, may have a battery for it so we're gonna run over there and hopefully grab that um, and hopefully they have a charger as well we did end up getting a case for it however because uh we were just carrying it around in a old pandora bag which is not the most secure we so. didn't take it very many places so don't think we were just you know like throwing it around <laughs> now she's protected so um hopefully we can get a battery and a charger so i can start using this all right guys pulling into best buy now look at this mclaren man little 570s but geez louise that thing is clean we'll get there one day remember to like comment subscribe and we'll get there one day <laughs> All right, so round two, we made it over to the other Best Buy, um, and now we're gonna see if we can, hopefully we can find it. So here is the battery we're looking for, the MB13L, so new battery. Now we just gotta find a charger. Hopefully they actually have it. All right, so we're getting some help again. This is the battery, um, and this charger says that it's not compatible, but uh, we've got the guy here and he's testing it out, and it looks like it fits in everything, so um, I guess this battery came out before this charger came out. That's why it's not included. So um, hopefully this will work and then we'll run out of here and um, get home and start throwing the taillights in there. All right guys, so just came back from Best Buy. Um, unfortunately, they didn't have a charger, so we're gonna have to order that. Um, but we did get a battery. We so, see if it works. Yeah, hopefully it works. Hopefully it was like pre-charged. Found it online, so we should be able to order it. Um, but yeah, unfortunately didn't have a charger. So we're gonna have to, uh, we got the battery, so we have two batteries now, but um, we're gonna have to Get the charger at a later time. It was literally the one battery that they did not have a charger for. Yeah. Every other model underneath that had it. Yeah, literally, like the only battery in the Canon section and the Sony, like out of all the cameras, that did not have a charger. So, yeah, that that kind of sucks. But we'll uh, we'll figure it out. We'll get a charger. Uh, but I'm gonna plug this battery in and hopefully I have some charge and uh, maybe I'll finish the video out with uh, with the actual camera um, and see how that goes. So stay tuned and then I'll meet back up with you guys either when we get some food or when we get back to the house. Food um, and Apparently we're getting food first. So um, we'll stop and get some food and then we'll finally get on with this taillight install. All right guys, so we ended up grabbing some sushi. Got some, I got a spicy tempura roll and then these three are um, Alex's regular tempura roll. Um, so we're gonna smash these out real quick and then uh, we'll get on with the uh, the taillight install. So stay tuned, gotta load up, get some fuel, and um, then I'll catch up with you guys. All right guys, so um, we've made it outside, finally finished up that uh, that sushi there. So um, right now we're gonna go ahead and clean off the, uh, the taillights, that way they can just go on clean. 
um, even though it'll probably get dirty in the future. Per usual, I'm gonna be using some uh, window cleaner. It's pretty dirty, it's been rubbing up on my uh, my tire shine uh, sponge, so that's why it's dirty, but we're gonna use some window cleaner and um, some paper towels. Um, then we'll get them all cleaned up. And All right, so I've recruited this toothbrush. Um, this is the same one that I used when I painted the, uh, the brake calipers, but um, I really just needed to get into the, um, these corners and stuff. Um, so I cleaned it off with some brake cleaner, but um, it should do what we need, so doesn't really matter. this one cleaned up all that dirt that was around the edges and everything is all gone now so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the rest of these um, tail lights and then I'll try to throw some compound on here I'm not gonna use like a buffer or anything I'm just gonna um, get some compound and rub it in there just to try to fill in all the scratches about one fourth of the way done so we should <laughs> should be able to finish this up here pretty soon all right guys so just got all four of the uh, tail lights finished up um, so as you can see all the dirt and stuff that was up in the corners and crevices is gone now um, so I believe I'm going to go ahead and start with the passenger side, um, and then we'll move on to the driver's side, but, um, I'll go ahead and get started with it and, um, I'll show you what it's looking like. All right. So first you got to come up in here and you got to pull out this little, uh, compartment cover. All right. So I kind of folds out once you uh, get up in there. All right, so back behind here, um, you're gonna have to remove this little uh, this little tab right here. I believe you just twist it out um, and that should release the, uh, the tail light. So we'll go ahead and get that off of there and I'll show you what the tail light's looking like when it's out. All right, so I went ahead and used a, um, an Allen key to break it loose because it's kind of in there. Uh, but this is the, uh, the screw that you're actually trying to get out. So um, with that being unplugged, we'll go ahead and see if we can uh, get this one out all right guys so um, finally got this passenger side um, tail light out um, be careful pulling it out because um, this right side kind of snug in there so um, just got to give it a little bit of force and kind of weasel it out but um, went ahead and got this one off so we'll go ahead and try to disconnect it and um, hopefully the um, these are plug and play I know with the um, the ones on the trunk, you kind of have to do some trickery and try to um, figure out how to get the wires and stuff to go together. But um, this one, I think, is plug and play. So we'll go ahead and get it pulled out and we'll figure it out. All right. So here's the old one. Got that one popped off. And then we'll see if we can plug this new one back in there. Got an update for you. So um, unfortunately, I was wrong. Apparently, the research I did, um, either I misunderstood it or um, it was for like a different year or something like that. But um, this is the connector from the halogen taillight, um, and this is the connector for the LED one. Um, so I may have to, I don't want to, but I'll probably have to snip off the, um, the stock harness here and then um, connect it to the, uh, the new one. And I think I'll probably use, I'll either snip this off and attach it um, to these wires directly because um, they're all numbered. It has like one, two, three, four, five, um, or I'll try to see if I can snip this off and attach it to here. So I'm probably not gonna be able to finish this today, but I uh, just wanted to give you guys a little update. Update, um, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to make it work. So it um, looks like all of the wires or the adapters are different. So um, unfortunately, I am gonna have to order an adapter. Um, I would start messing with the wires and stuff, but um, I gotta grab to work tomorrow. So I don't wanna risk it not having the car um, back together, or not having working tail lights. So um, yep, unfortunately, um, not gonna work out today, but I'll go ahead and try to order another harness and hopefully this one will arrive here. Um, but as for the rest of the video, uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to figure out some other way to keep you guys entertained. So, so stay tuned and uh, we'll see what else we can get into. Slight little update. So I uh, went ahead and got the car put back together. Um, but unfortunately, I dropped the bolt that holds the outer tail light on um, down inside of the body. So I don't know if that's going to come off or if I'm going to be able to get it off. Um, but it's in there for now. The trunk's holding it and then it's got the... Uh, little 
pressure points on the other side. So I'm gonna run to AutoZone and hopefully I can find a, um, like that screw to fit or a magnet so I can reach down in there and get it out. Cause I don't want that rattling around and stuff. Went ahead and grabbed a magnet from um, AutoZone. So this is actually like a super bendy magnet cause it's really tight space in there. Um, and it also has a flashlight on it. So um, we're gonna give this a shot. Hopefully I can get that bolt out cause um, I really don't want to hear it rattling and stuff. Um, and I don't want to have to try to find a new one. So um, we're gonna give this a whirl and then I'll let you guys know if I can, uh, if I can get it out or not. So since I couldn't get my taillights on, um, Alex went ahead and treated me to some uh, to some Andes frozen custard. If you guys don't have an Andes, I feel feel sorry for you because it's, it's pretty fire. But um, yeah, very disappointed that I couldn't get the taillights on, but um, we'll either get the harness um, or I'll just do it when I have more time so I can actually mess with the wires and stuff like that. But um, I'm gonna enjoy this Andes and then we'll head back home and see if we can get that, uh, get that bolt out of there. I made it back home, um, got the, uh, the magnet here with the flashlight on the end, so. Um, we're gonna hopefully get this uh, get this bolt out so we can screw the taillight back up and call it a day. Oh my gosh, that actually worked. So I was, <laughs> oh my goodness. So I was able to, as you can see, I had to remove the um, the plastic cover here for the, uh, like the latch on the trunk. I was actually able to use this little bitty hole right here to uh, to see the bolt. And then with that, like the this flashlight, it was actually really handy because I could kind of like see inside of there I was able to like kind of pull the uh, the bolt back until um, we could actually get grabbed by the magnet. I'm um, going to try to put the screw the taillight back in without dropping it back down there again. So yeah, that's I'm actually really amazed that I got that out. So that saves me a trip to uh, to the, to another store to get that bolt. All right, guys. So the whole reason that even happened is because I guess when I was going to screw um, that screw back in or bolt, whatever you want to call it, um, I was screwing it in the wrong hole, which is just a uh, it just falls into the uh, to under the bumper there. So um, basically, this is where the screw goes, um, and this is where I was trying to screw it in. Um, I should have should have just looked to realize that it wasn't lined up with the tail light, but that's where I ended up dropping it. So don't do that if you ever uh, go to change your tail lights. But we got her back in there, got her all tightened up, so uh, we should should be all good to go there. All right, guys. Gonna go ahead and wrap the video up here. Um, I hate to disappoint, um, but unfortunately, we were not able to get the new LED taillights installed today. Um, definitely be expecting it next week, so um, I'll either get a harness or I'll, uh, I'll try to figure out how to wire it when I have more time. Um, but with that being said, I'm probably gonna go play some Forza or something, get my mind off of the, uh, the disappointment, but <laughs> um, definitely, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Um, we've got the exhaust coming soon, as you saw. Um, the taillights coming soon. Uh, when I can get that figured out um, and a lot more stuff coming soon. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe and uh, smash that notification bell and uh, I will see you in the next one.